Hi there, it's Mother Janet, and today I'm in my kitchen at home. And um, I'm going to read you part of the gospel for this coming Sunday, which is uh, July 26th. And in it, I'm going to demonstrate to you how Jesus knew there was going to be baseball, and Jesus helped to make baseball possible. There are other messages as well, and I'll get to those, but baseball is really important because it's baseball season, and I'm a Yankee fan, and I always eat hot dogs, but I'll get to that in a minute. So, Jesus put before the crowds another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. That means planted in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. Okay, the gospel of the Lord. Okay, so I bet you've been in church when I've showed mustard seeds before. Here's a whole container of mustard seeds I must have bought 20, 25 years ago because I use it as a demonstration every three years when this comes up. So this cup has mustard seeds in it. That might be hard to see. So I use tape and I put some mustard seeds on this card. You see how tiny they are? They're so tiny, you almost can't see them with your eye. They're very tiny. But Jesus says that from this tiny little seed, this tiny little seed, if we plant it in the earth, a gigantic shrub and then later a tree will grow, a tree. And it says that tree then becomes the home for birds and maybe other animals. And that tree becomes uh, more seeds from the tree. And those seeds from the tree we now know make mustard. So Jesus was saying to the people around him that, Sometimes you might think you're just not big enough to do any good things. You're not big enough to do the things you want to do. And as God's people, sometimes we think we're not big enough or good enough to be God's people in the world, to love people the way we want to, to stand up for people the way we want to, to defend people, right? To do the right thing. Sometimes we think we're just too small to be able to do that. But Jesus says, if your faith is just this big, see how tiny that is? And I think we probably all have at least that much faith because it's been planted in us when we were baptized. It's been planted. It's growing inside us. But if you start with that and you stay open to God, if you talk to God when you pray, if you tell God what you're feeling and what you're thinking, and if you ask God, what should I be doing with my life today? How should I be helping other people? We will get answers. And in that answer and in our doing the good thing, we will grow. We will grow. So back to baseball. You know, it's hard to imagine a baseball game without hot dogs, right? And I like a hot dog. I only eat them at baseball games. And since I have to watch the Yankees now only at home, I have a supply of hot dogs at home. And I like mustard on my hot dog. Now, this is a dark mustard that I think these seeds would make this kind of dark, heavy mustard. That's good. Sometimes I like that mustard. But on a hot dog, I like French's yellow mustard, which must come from a, a little different kind of mustard tree that gives a lighter, lighter colored seed. So I like to put mustard on my hot dog. There we go. And once I have that, I'm all set for a baseball game. So I think I could be wrong, and I haven't read this in any of the big books that I had to read in seminary or afterwards. I haven't read that anybody thinks that Jesus was thinking about the hot dog when he talked about the importance of this mustard seed, how powerful it can be. But these little mustard seeds can make mustard, which can go on a hot dog, and can make thousands of people happy and fed in one day and one ball game. Okay, that might be a stretch. It might not quite be, but maybe it is. So I think since this is a cooking show as well as a children's message, I think I should try this hot dog. And hey, Lucy, Lucy, would you like some hot dog? Come on, Lucy. We'll see if Lucy would like some hot dog. Now, normally I would not feed her in the house, but uh -oh, let's see. Here. 
Okay, Lucy, come on. Let people see. People have to see you, Lucy. Lucy, come on. Come up. 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 She's confused because normally I would yell at her for this. Come on. Come on up. Lucy. Good girl. There's Lucy. All right. Would you like a hot dog? Would you say please? No. Okay. There you go. There's your hot dog. Very good. She's got hers. Mmm. I've got mine. And I hope you are having a good day.